Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In this video, video number two, I'm gonna dive inside this brand new 2023 Toyota Sienna XSE Hybrid. Be sure and catch video number one, the interior overview, but let's get started inside right away. Let's head inside and take a look at the uh, driver's side. We'll start here on the driver's door. So black and kind of a light gray door panel. And then on the XSC, they're using this orange stitching. And you'll see that on the inside as well. Kind of a metallic finish here. So a lot of different fabrics, a lot of different materials used on the doors. Sil silver satin door handle. One touch up and down on all four windows. Power door locks, power mirrors. A little storage cubby down here. Bottle holder and then a speaker in the door as well. And then there's also a puddle light or a curb light there on the XSE model. We'll take a look at our seats. So driver's side has forward backwards power recliner, power lumbar support, driver's side airbag. Passenger side has forward backwards and power recliner for the upfront passenger seat. Uh, super cool seats. So again, a combination of the, the orange stitching and then the black soft tech fabric seats. Pretty darn comfortable. I like the way they run that up into the headrest here. Uh, height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belt as well. Very comfortable seats. Take a look at our dashboard. Again, more of a fabric here on the dashboard with a orange stitch, so that's not plastic. That might be soft tech fabric actually. Four vents up and down, left and right. One here, two in the center, and one over on that passenger side. Back over here, there's a little coin tray. This is actually a rubber insert, so it's coins don't slide around make a bunch of noise tilt and telescoping steering wheel down here just a lot a lot of switches but there's still room for more traction control on and off automatic high beams on and off 120 volt power outlet for the back i'll show you that later in the video dimmer switch for your dash lights trip and odometer reset gas door release power rear door on and off hood release dead pedal, brake, and accelerator right where you'd expect them. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. So this is going to take a few minutes. The, there are so many features on the XSE trim. So I'm just gonna quickly go over, touch each button, touch each switch, tell you what it does. This thing is loaded. So first of all, we've got a leather wrap steering wheel. It's not heated, it's gray, and then you can see it has this orange uh, stitching on here, and it's also perforated, so really comfortable. It's not a heated steering wheel. Sienna has electric steering as well, electric power steering, so that uh, works really nicely. Uh, driver's side airbag, of course. A lot of gloss black on the Toyotas now down here. We've got fingertip controls over here for cruise control, dynamic radar, cruise control, lane tracing assist, and we can change our radio stations right here. Over on the other side, we've got uh, switches to move through the information center, which is gonna be right up in the gauge cluster. We'll get there in just a minute. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, smart, uh, voice activation, and the volume for your sound system as well. Over on this side, controls for your headlights. We've got auto on and off for your headlights as well as automatic high beams. We've got LED fog lights on the XSE trim. And then over on this side are the wiper controls. So we're looking at the rear washer wipers which have intermittent settings. And then the front washer wipers which also have intermittent settings. You can see down here, push button start. Standard on the XSE. Well, actually I think it's standard on all Siennas now tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Oh, I want to show you the legroom before I move the seat forward. So there's your legroom and you can see I cannot reach the uh, pedals there. I'm 5'7", so I'm kind of a, on the short side, but I think if you're a six footer, you're probably going to be just fine. Take a quick look at the gauge cluster. So up here we've got it's kind of a dark black electronic gauge cluster. This side is the um, monitoring system for your charging system. So eco power settings, uh, engine temperature gauge. Over on the right hand side is our speedometer and our fuel gauge. In the center, you can see there is a little instrument cluster here, a TIF or TF, 
Peace uh, Center. Anyways, it's an information center, digital speedometer, outside temperature, clock, and then using the fingertip controls here on the steering wheel, you can go ahead and toggle through some of your settings. So we've got a compass in there. We've got the uh, audio system settings, trip, safety sense controls there as well for your safety settings and a message center. So a lot of information right in that gauge cluster, really easy to read, especially at night, it looks pretty cool. Take a look at our sound system. So we've got a tablet style sound system. You can see it's pretty slim. It does not obstruct your view. It's big, it's bright, dynamic radar or um, dynamic navigation system in here with points of interest. Most of it's touchscreen. Toyota now is starting to do their own hardware and software. So for a lot of Toyotas, they've eliminated all these buttons. Not yet on the CN, I expect that next year. Uh, as far as speaker or uh, features go, audio features, we'll jump over there. AM, FM, Cirrus satellite radio, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay wireless, Android Auto, Alexa compatible. Um, so a lot of great um, sound options in there as well. Moving down the center stack, we've got our automatic temperature control, front driver and front passenger settings. We've got rear window defrost, um, heated front windshield. We've got uh, outside mirror de-icers. We've got heated seats up front, front driver, front passenger, no ventilated seats. Take a quick look here at, in fact, let me close this so you can see that a little better. Hopefully that's better. Um, take a look at the backup camera. So it's a big camera. It's bright. It's not super clear, but it does. It will do the job. It will uh, let you see what's behind you. Hopefully you won't back over the kids' bikes in the driveways. Uh, leather wrap shifter here. This is a CVT automatic transmission. It does have the faux shifting, manual shifting feature here. I don't think most people even bother with it. Up here, there's a USB port to plug in wireless charging for your smartphone this is a nice little package tray the only problem is and you can see they put a little uh, marker here so your phone doesn't slide around i wish they rubber aligned it that way if you throw your pocket change in there it doesn't slide around and make a bunch of noise i do like the look of the dashboard on here it's pretty nice fabric with the orange stitching here and down here as well so makes it feel definitely upscale there is an airbag right there. There's an airbag up here. JBL speakers up in the A pillar, part of the JBL audio system on this particular unit. Down here, we've got two cup holders, got a place for your smartphone, um, electronic parking brake, brake hold, your EV modes and your drive mode controls are there. You can put your smartphone in here as well as a small tablet. Underneath, there's two more cup holders. Lots of places for cup holders. So bottle holders in the doors, cup holders here, cup holders there. You can never have enough of those. Again, fabric here with the orange stitching on there as well. Padded armrests, this, this, these don't move, they're stationary, but there's a storage compartment underneath here. Let me see if I can get some light down in there. This is huge, a lot of storage room. There's your copy of your window sticker. And then there's a USB-C and a USB-A or 1.0. Don't know what they call that nowadays so two more places to plug in there plus wireless charging plus a charger here and then a fifth place that you plug in take a look at all this room under here big spacious area for your laptop for your handbag for your purse what have you and then there's another 12 volt down there so five places to plug in up front comes in super handy there's a look at your passenger seat height adjustable headrest seat belts passenger assist grips Vanity mirrors with lights, sliding visors, all the comfort and convenience features you've come to expect from a Toyota. Overhead, power doors, power rear door, reading lights, power sunroof controls, light controls for all the interior lights, safety connect, need roadside assistance, push that, Toyota will take care of you. We do have a convex mirror, the kids catcher mirror up there, so you can watch the kids in the back seat. And then an automatic dimming rear view mirror with home link garage door openers in there as well. So it really has all the great features. I don't know what else I would add up front here. I guess ventilated seats, maybe 
um, could be an option. A, a heated steering wheel would be nice, but um, really, really has all the top of the line features. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat. Here's a look up front from the back seat. You can see there is a lot of uh, room in the front driver compartment. Of course, your power moonroof helps bring in some extra lighting up front. Uh, as far as features goes, there's two more places to plug in right there. Nice little hook here for your headphones. Here's your 120 volt plug in. There's a third, uh, second one in the trunk. Cup holders, little storage cubby there. Pockets on the backs of both seats. Love the wide opening on these doors. It's a nice low step up. And then there's a non-slip uh, assist handle right here, a high and low kind of an over, oversized, but it's nice for the kids or if you've got seniors who are trying to get in and out, it really comes in handy. Now these seats are the same as up front. That's a soft tech fabric seat. And then these seats actually do slide way back, way back. And if you see with the seat all the way back, even if I extend my toes, I can barely touch the backs of those seats. So there is a lot of leg room. Again, I have short legs, I'm 5'7", but for the kids, maybe get rid of the kicking of your back of your seat, or if you have a car seat back here, that's gonna come in handy. Now there's, let's see, feature-wise, automatic temperature controls, so there's three climate zones back here. There's vents, there's lights, there's handles tinted windows this is a shade that you can go ahead and move up and down it's got a power window on both back doors there's a speaker here there's a power door switch down there bottle holder down there a little cubby storage cubby right there so a lot of places to put stuff in the back of the sienna and then as far as the way back seat let's go ahead and go back there so handles right here pull the seat ahead not as easy to do as one hand but that comes all the way ahead and if you pull it back this way you can actually pop that seat up like that push it ahead I think it goes ahead even a little bit further but super easy to get in and out of the back seat especially if you're shorty like me jump in here like this now as far as amenities there's two plugs right there cup holders right there vents up here a speaker over here no shades in the back not like on those doors up front lights back here these seats do fold down back here i think you can recline this one yep you can pull that one up like that i don't know if that was on the 2022 i can't remember i don't think it was these headrests also fold down like that and then the seats fold down Oh, there's also some more bottle holders right there. Child safety anchors on the backs of these seats. But you can see once I get back here, there's a lot of room, a lot of leg room. Another cup holder over here. Surprise, there's no plugs over here. There's two of them over there. I can hear the kids fighting over those already. But uh, a lot of room back here. Definitely the best people mover in the marketplace. There you go, that's the interior overview for the uh, 23 Toyota Sienna XSE Hybrid all-wheel drive. Holy cats, that's a lot. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you would like more videos like this, feel free to subscribe, share it out, and then look for the link at the end of this video for the exterior overview. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching. Stop.